What's up guys? Gary here for JMVFX. Welcome back to another tutorial. This is a very, very short one. It's a one by one, I suppose, in a way. Um, I want to talk today about something which has got, got the best name ever. It's uh, an add-on which runs inside of Blender. Uh, it's not turned on by default, but it should be. Uh, it's actually really, 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 really wonderful. Um, I absolutely love it. And its name is Discombobulator, which basically means messing something around with. I think, I don't know. I haven't checked in the dictionary, but when you feel discombobulated, it means your mind feels like it's been thrown all over the place. It's a word that people in Britain actually do use. I'm very sorry. Oh, and uh, just to start this though, before we go any further, I just thought I'd show you this. It's a little bit of video uh, that was taken this morning because uh, everyone says to me, I want to see more of the dog. I you hardly ever show you anything of the dog, but this is, <laughs> this is Ginny uh, racing around in the snow. Um, even though it is, uh, when I'm recording this, it's, it's Friday the 10th of March and we're about to have uh, 10 degrees centigrade in the day. But at the minute it's been snowing like crazy and uh, we had heavy drifts all over the place. And we were out this morning, myself and my wife, with our dog walking for three hours in the snow and she was loving it. So that's for you. Okay, so anyway, back to what we're doing, back to the discombobulator. So let's just let's just do this. It's important It's and it's actually really, really fun. So here we are we're here's our default scene and i have a cube i'm going to need this cube so i'm going to do something with this cube i'm going to put it on one side we're going to re just rename it grb you'll find out why in a minute um but very quickly i just want to do some subdivision on this let's just do that i think that's probably enough is it yeah that's probably enough let's uh, apply that let's go in let's go to uh, polygon mode and let's select those ones there. I've got loop tools selected, so let's make a circle. There we go. And then let's just go uh, in, press I, and then I'm gonna go uh, move it down. So a GZ like that. And then let's pick on these edges just to make it a little bit uh, level levelly. Control B, I'm not gonna do that with the bevel with the bevel tool. Um, I don't want the bevel tool, I just wanna do that quickly. And I go SN0, so it's nice and flat. That's all I do there. And now then I want to just take these polys along here. And that one, 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 and that one. And I'm just going to delete those faces. And then I'm going to press L over those to delete those faces. And that's it. We are done. And that's GRB. And that's going to be moved out of the way because we don't need it right now. In fact, what I will also do very quickly is go into object mode and let's just scale this down, make it nice and small. You can probably, you'll you'll see it very soon, I promise, what this is all about. And then to object and apply all transforms. So, and then let's move that out of the way over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add into here a new mesh and I'm going to add a UV sphere. Why a UV sphere? Well, why not a UV sphere? Um, it's uh, a nice way of having something to play with that's got quads on it because the most, imo most important thing about the uh, discombobulator is it doesn't like triangles, not really. It prefers, in fact, it says, please only use quads uh, if you look at the info bar at the top, which let's just get on with that. Let's just do that. Let's get the info bar on the top. Let's put on the wireframe so you can see the wires. And I'm gonna do pretty much what I just did to the converted round cube and I am going to very quickly delete these bottom vertices. I don't really want them. Or should I leave them? No, let's actually, no, let's not. Let's just leave them. Why not, actually? It makes no huge difference. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I am going to show you how to use the discombobulator. Now it's something you use in edit mode. So at the moment, all my faces are selected and I'm just gonna remove the top triangles just for the sake of argument, because as I said, it doesn't like triangles very much, if at all. Let's remove the bottom ones as well. I mean, it does kind of make sense when you understand what it does, why it doesn't like triangles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create something from this uh, object, something which actually is really, really useful. Uh, particularly if you've got some with lots and lots and lots and lots of quads and you want lots and lots of detail without any trouble at all. So let's go into the uh, add and down here it now says discombobulator. It's an add-on. So basically remember if you want it, you go to preferences 
And if you go into add-ons and then you look, if you just type in here, D I S up comes a discombobulator. Now it's in the add mesh section because it kind of is a mesh thing, makes sense. Uh, the documentation is there if you want to get to it, but also pretty much the documentation actually comes um, with the interface anyway if I'm honest. Um, so let me get rid of that and we go add discombobulator and up comes this lovely little panel. What we have here is uh, use of inf usage information. So it says there, for example, quads only, not triangles or n-gons. Works only with mesh object that has faces. Of course it does. Um, so what it does is it selects faces and breaks them up and does things with them. So these are the defaults and it's set to, on here. There's a little button that says make protrusions. The point of the discombobulator is that it will create extra mesh information to sit on top of your actual mesh. So we have here min height, max height, min taper, and max taper. Now the tapering essentially is like beveling the edge of the face. So if you said a min taper of 0.15, it's the minimum amount of kind of like surface bevel you get from the base of the polygon protrusion to the top. So if your minimum height is set to 0.2, your maximum height is set to 0.4, your protrusion will be between 0.2 and 0.4. It'll take those two values, generate a random one between. Same sort of thing here with the min taper and the max taper. If the potential is between 0.15% and 0.35%, it's gonna give you a random value between those two. Obviously, we have then have here one, two, three, and four. Now that's, I initially thought that was uh, like a repetitive, rep uh, I thought that was a repetitive function. So if you put, did it once, it'll do it once, do it twice, it'll do it twice, and do it three times and so on on top. But actually that is actually on the line below, which says repeat protrusions. One, two, three, and four is basically cutting up the polygon. So if you say, I want to cut it up just into two elements, you just turn on two. If you want either two or four, you put on two and four. If you want randomly one, two, three, or four across all of your all of your quads, then you flag the lot. And I'm not gonna put on repeat, repeat protrusions. We're gonna show you what's gonna happen here. So if I now click on okay, there you go. We get all these protrusions. Now, here's the nice thing as well. This is currently live. So if I bring these values down, You can there, that's a bit too low, min height of zero, point not one. What you can see is it's actually created uh, the, from those faces one, two, fours, and threes based upon the faces that you picked, which if I just, just if I go pop this here on just that one there, let's just pop on a cavity and set that to both and put these up and put the valleys up. You get a better sort of idea if I deselect. You get this lovely idea of what we can do with the discombobulator. That's really, really nice. So I'm just gonna go back in history a bit and bring that up again, because obviously it keeps the previous information that we've done, which is good. I'm going to turn off the three and I'm gonna put on repeat protrusions, but just once. I'm also gonna reduce the maximum taper to point one and the min taper is that point west at point one and that's point not five max height to oh, what's it is that that point not four yeah well let's try let's try that let's do that so we go pop and now what you can see here this is where it gets a bit it can get a bit messy but you've got protrusions on top of protrusions so you can see there's more information but if you're looking at something from the distance or it's something that you've got which is just sitting as an element on the spaceship. We just wanted a bit more detail to it. That's brilliant. I mean, the, the big point about this is actually if you have a ship that's made out of quads, you know, you can go, right, okay, let's just do something funky with this. So you go add uh, the discombobulator and you set the min height to say minus 0 0.01 and the max height to 0 0.2, min table to 0 0.01, max table to point. Uh, point uh, 0.05, turn off the repeat protrusions and go OK, you end up with something which feels almost like it's, you know, it's a bit more, in fact, the thing about it is it, it actually makes a duplicate object. So if I turn this one off, you can see there where it's gone in in some places and gone out in others. So you can actually use it as a sort of like a, 
use your other objects as a base object to build from. It's just nice and quick, and it's really, 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 really great. I, I honestly think it's um, it's a really cool, a cool little thing. I'm just going to bring back in this object, and in fact, what I'm going to do is going to make it a bit smaller because it still looks too big. And and you'll find that I'll explain to you what we're doing here. So let's go all there. Let's just go smaller, please. Let's look at this from the side. Bring that down to its origin point. That's quite important. And go object. Now remember I mentioned about quads before. Yeah, quads are quite the thing when it comes to the discombobulator. It doesn't like anything else. So that's why this object I made just there out of the UV sphere. It's all quads. It's all quads. I mean, in theory, I could add a subdivision surface to it. So it still looks a bit more rounder-ish. But, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of saying, just render that. Or let's just set that to auto smooth, please. And you'll kind of get what you need. What we need to do is we need to set this up because what I'm going to try and do is is put it like a greeble over this whole surface as much as possible. And which is, again, it's like little bits and bobs on the top. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually assign this to being what they refer to as a doodad. Uh, in order to do that, what we need to do is in object mode, go add mesh and go discombobulator. And we're going to pick a doodad. Now, this is the reason why that was in quads, because you can't pick a doodad if it's not in quads. If there's any triangles in that or any n-gons, that will not be, that will basically be grayed out. You can't use it. So that's now a doodad. What I'm going to do now is go into come out of there click that in object mode go to edit mode I've got all those selected and go add discombobulator and I'm going to leave on those protrusions so we can do those protrusions again and I've got here my list of doodads there it is grub and so let's do it again get it up because if you click off of it it goes away and I'm going to set the protrusion to just one that's fine let's leave it off three I think that's good um, in fact let's take it off of no, let's leave it one on there as well. I'm going to minimum and the maximum number set to one and three on the doodads, and I'm going to go OK. And now there you go. What we've got here is we've got our, if I just turn off the sphere, we've got something that looks like a bunch of barnacles over the top of this thing. And it's basically putting one or three of these onto each polygon face that we created from our base object and but they are individual um what are they called they're individual islands so if we pick all of these so let's uh, you can pick all of these things like this and then what you can do is you can go local and then from individual origins and for a scale it scales them down uh, you know you can go in and edit these things linear 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 just grabbing at random pressing l over the single objects now remember we're doing individual origins and local and so we can go scale and bring those down like this or what you can do of course is you create individual greebles of different sizes so now we're in object mode there you go and you know you just you can just create some funky stuff that's it really that's it that's a discombobulate but i mean you've gone from nothing to something which potentially could look like a barnacled floating mine yeah you get the picture but just think about the opportunities of the things that you can actually create with that i mean you can go to town making all sorts of amazing things god i love a discombobulator right there you go that was a short one just a quickie for this week um and i will get back to you and speak to you very soon so there you go that's where we are that's where it ends that's all good however i have another thing i wanted to say to you which is uh i now have a spreadsheet site so if you like want to buy something with my logo on or if you want to buy something like a cup or a mug or a lovely tote bag i've got to say i really like the tote bags um anything that i've made that looks kind of funky i might actually do some extra work with this and put this in there as well now the heads in there and my uh little island will be going in there soon that i did for one with the waves ages ago and then at the moment the reindeer's in there but i'm going to keep on adding in stuff into there so if you wanted to buy a t-shirt with my with one of my designs on uh that's great or you want to buy my logo and stuff that's great as well but ned the head actually I, it was the it was it was ned the head that made me think i've got to put this on a t-shirt or something um so if you want to go and have a look 
brilliant. If you want to buy something, fantastic. Uh, you can get the link. It's uh, based on YouTube. You can look down below. There's a little button that says shop. Please click on that. Um, anyway, but with that in mind, I must go now and get on with the rest of my life. Uh, and you must get on and go and do yours. Go and do what you want to do. Right, guys, uh, go, go have fun. And I will see you in the next one.